Secretary as well. But I also know that we're still working to promote financial equity uh, for our, our Indian country, uh, uh, really, uh, as we move forward. Uh, as you know, tribes are at a constant economic disadvantage because of arcane laws and because far too often tribal governments don't get a seat at the table when our laws are being written. Excluding tribal nations from the conversation has led to taxation in Indian country being overcomplicated and full of disparities. That means opportunities for tribal economic development are limited and harder to access than they should be. And that's why together we're working to fix this. Tribal government should be on equal footing with state and local governments and should have access to the same resources. As you know, you heard yesterday from one of uh, my incredible staffers that I introduced the Native American Tax Parity and Relief Act last year to level that playing field and remove unfair tax burdens on tribal communities. Tribes have been limited by the tax code that only allows them to use tax exempt bonds to fund projects in very specific circumstances, but my bill would get rid of all of that and allow tribal governments to take advantage of the same bonds that state and local governments do. This creates more economic development, more jobs, better quality of life for our tribal communities. Why do I know that? Because I see it talking with my tribes. This bill came about because of the work in my state with so many of, of the tribes in the state of Nevada. The bill also creates an annual $175 million set aside in the new markets tax credit, tax, excuse me, tax credit to support tribal communities and to fund projects that serve or employ tribe members. It also makes the low income housing tax credit more tailored to tribal lands so more affordable homes can be built in Indian country. And these are just a few of the provisions in this bill that are going to make sure that many tribal communities across our country are treated fairly by the tax code. Uh, and I have to thank uh, so many of you I've heard from, uh, my staff has heard from as we were uh, advocating and putting this critical legislation together. Uh, it is important that we continue to hear from you. Your voices matter, your advocacy matters, whether you're coming to us in our home state or you're here uh, on Capitol Hill talking to us. It is really important that not only those of us that have so many beautiful tribes in our state, but that there's some of my colleagues that don't and they need to hear, they need to hear from you. I know from my perspective, working with my colleagues,